Welcome to Lafayette Radio, more than a podcast. Today, we're having a conversation that is uh, interesting. Um, I mean, from the perspective of friends as well, or acquaintances, if I may add, um, it will be about image and representation of image. And in discussing these, um, or having this discussion, I have Collide, we call him Collide. I, I don't know what other name to call him <laughs> other than Collide, because we've known him as Collide. His name can be Dakpo. But we've known him as Collide. And he's only Collide Prime too, so I guess it's right to say I have Collide and <laughs> I have Nimbe. Yeah, right. Now, Nimbe is... Collide is a visual artist and um, he's done a lot... He's, yeah, let's say he has a lot of experience under the belt or with the belt, whichever one, because under the belt, I can mean I'm referring to organs. <laughs> um, but Nimbe, on the other hand, happens to be a travel consultant but the no, not the irony. The the point here is Nimbe. I, he seems to identify with the fact that before he is his work or business, there's something else that he is. And my own goal here would mostly to be well, will be mostly to link both concepts to see if we can have make some level of sense with image and representation, but in also first of all self-assured, like you're self-assured about the image and representation that you are maybe discussing. So those are the two guests. But I'll take it over to you guys so you can give them like a brief, a bit more slight info about okay. yourselves before okay. we commence. Um, okay. Well, Kulaid. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Even, even uh, I was surprised last week my dad called me Kulaid out of the and he would never do that and he started calling me Kulaid and I was like but you know you go back to Adidak but when he's hungry yeah. you get to, like that's what everybody calls me now so um, I'm a creative person I don't want to be boxed into that um, the sketch illustrator only because you're also a rapper it's you dope get. one too <laughs> you get thanks, thanks. Yeah. That's a lot too coming from you. <laughs> you get so um I I'm a thinker, deep thinker, creative person and I also make uh, content. I make content for my personal brand, which is called I Wonder Comics and um I also make content working for ad agencies basically. Okay. So I've worked with I've worked for six ad agencies in the space of 14 years. Do oh. you get like immediately we left school, it mm. was bam, work <laughs> starts. <laughs> yes, because even we in school, yeah. I was already doing Give freelance up. work. <laughs> you yeah. get. So uh it's it's been a very challenging, you know, up and down, you know, mm -hmm. um experience for me. Okay. And every day I I learn something new. Of course. Do you get um I want, I this the uh, I want to end, end my intro with this. I want to see Africa, and Africa's representation, representation, the image of Africa, mm. on the world stage. Do you get? I because I feel that um, our story, so many stories, like there's so many deep stories we have that they haven't been to told yet, and I don't think I. Would, be able to live with myself if I do no not contribute at exactly. least to making that happen. You know what's funny Word. about this is you when you say something about stories, I just I'm sure even Nimbe was like uh <laughs> 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 because the iron what makes this beautiful is Nimbe is a I've had a conver I've had conversations with him. No human is perfect, so I understand that clearly. But yeah. inside that imperfection, perfect did it. And if there's one thing that I've known about him is he's always been a free giver of information according to our ancestral heritage. Mm. So the Africa I want to see on the world stage, before world stage, first of all, what is Africa? Mm. Okay. <laughs> you get what I mean? Like, so I guess on that note, I'll pass it to Nimbe now. Like. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm Nimbe. <laughs> <laughs> so the introduction by my brother... I think I would like to put it in the proper context. Mm. I'm Nimbe, a babalawu, as a spiritual obligation mm -hmm. and a travel consultant as a profession. Because I've been a babalawu 
before being a travel consultant. Mm -hmm. But then again, I've always wanted to have a, an opportunity where I can tell to the world that anything spirituality, you have to be able to separate professionalism from being spiritual from spirituality. Mm -hmm. You understand? I'm talking about economic professionalism from being from spirituality. Yeah. Spirituality has to be something because we are helping people. We are helping humanity. Ourselves. We're helping ourselves. Yeah. People generally means myself. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. part of the people. You get yeah. what I'm saying? So uh -huh. we are helping ourselves. And uh, the main goal of spirituality is, you know, with the spiritual knowledge, living this world better than you meet it. You understand what I'm saying? Excuse me. Isn't that funny that he claims the main goal of spirituality is living this world that is not spiritual better, better than, than you met it? it. Like, oh, it's, 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 it's the yin and... The Chinese yin and yang are really... Yeah. Is, that's the concept. Yeah. yeah. So... Um, Image representation. Yes. If I had introduced myself from the entrance that, oh, I'm Baba Lau, I probably wouldn't even have the kind of audience that I have coming no, in. No, they won't be yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So, it's in, it's in my right to be <laughs> You understand? So I kind of like always try as much as possible to put that forward before being, you know, introduced as a travel consultant. Okay. Yeah, so that's... Um, it's... I mean, it's interesting... I've always wanted, because I feel like the value of whatever we believe in mm -hmm. is in, first of all, foundationally, who we are, if we know that. Mm -hmm. So you are learning, but what are you learning as? <laughs> you know mm -hmm. what I mean? You're learning what are you learning as. And with image representation, as I was banting with him, it just dawned on me that, ah, you know, so when people see Baba Lao, they say, mm -hmm. it's in a by white bead mm -hmm. image representation. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's a typical thing. Something as trivial as that can be what validates a cartoon sketch from I Wonder Comics yeah. if he forgets to put the white bead on the Babalao's right hand. I mm -hmm. mean, yes. If he forgets to do that. Or if he claims there is an there's an if I, So if you're making an animated character, for example, okay. and he has if I background, yeah. if the bead no get certain colors, no worry yourself. Hmm. If the bid with the hair no get certain colors, because yeah. he's right here, he can yeah. testify. Yes. And it's not to validate or discriminate or maybe judge your work. Mm -hmm. It's just um what do you say? Adaiba. It is exactly what has been ordained as the path to represent such. Yeah. Okay. So the idea of us having this conversation is image and representation. Mm -hmm. If you, like you said, you want to, it's funny how I told you guys, we're not going to have any Riazalo. You're just going to come here and we're mm -hmm. going to have a conversation. Yeah. And you say you want to see Africa at the top stage of the world. Mm -hmm. Right. Africa, where they go top stage of the world, we don't know, say our Asha, I be led day. Don't be really, really Africa now, is it? Hmm. <laughs> like, you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I, I do. I, do. I um, I want to, I want to, uh, uh, like, let us know that the truth is our culture, our shower, all those things, they're being stolen from us mm? and they're being told. And we don't even know under our noses. Do you know, Jay, I'm sorry to say, I, I need to let say me, this to me, you. Let me just give you an Please example. remind me of Black Eyed Peas, I need to tell you. <laughs> let, me just, let me just drop this one. Yeah. Okay. Any anime head, head, do you get all, if you're into anime, Japanese anime or cartoons, please go on Netflix and why you look for Yasuke. Yasuke, yeah, Yasuke is, um, was the only, in, his, in history, was the only black samurai that, um, I think it was under Oda Obunaga, you know, war. I started to watch Shogun. Yasuke, but. Bro, did you watch the parts where they showed this medicine man that will do certain spells and like a huge Benin warrior will come and start fighting. Did you watch that part? You know, Yasuke starts with a lot of conversation. Bro. And I'm not like, <laughs> which one be anime about somewhere every day? Talk, 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 talk. I just like, like, uh, like that guy, like when I saw I it, I was it. screaming. I was like, yo, this is, look, this is African culture here. Yeah. Do you get in Japan and 
They're using it. They're telling our stories. We are not. I, I, I was wet. The they're not, they're not, they're, they're not even own. telling our stories. They're sampling exactly. our they're stories. They're sampling our, our characters already. There, you're already yes. using them. Yes. Do you get? So I'm like, okay, who was the African on this team? The the thing is, you know, there's the general <laughs> idea. The same way people think they know Nigerians, right? But then there's the real Nigerian agenda. Like there's the real, what makes you a Nigerian. And yeah. but not go, not to dive into those conversations. For me, if they say they are representing Africa, bro. Let me advance an argument. It's important that I know that I'm a Yoruba man. It's more important that I know that I'm a Nigerian, which is not as important as I or me knowing that I am a, an African, mm. which is not as important as me knowing that I'm a human being. Mm. Right? That, that's how it goes. First yeah. of all, I'll be, I'll be man, I'll be Yoruba man, I'll be. Yeah. Yeah. This is our identity. But second of all, man, more than Yoruba, Nigeria, Nigeria unity. Mm-hmm. Which include Yoruba, so yes. Yoruba the inside. I'm like, okay, which one? Uh-huh. They bigger. Africa unity include Nigeria. Which uh-huh. one include Africa? Humanity. Humanity. Right. It it has to get to the point whereby we, because you know it. You now you are sitting right next to Nimbe, who uh-huh. beyond Yaske's representation of a Benin warrior, uh-huh. Nimbe can give you Odu. That not just in the cartoon has mm-hmm. value; it has value to any ear that in, that listens and intends to go and find out about what they've heard about. Mm. They will find truth, like the real image and representation. Because mm-hmm. yes. anime now plenty, plenty Japanese language. You mm-hmm. now can speak Japanese flu- small, small <laughs> because of anime. <laughs> yes, yes, but a lot of people, <laughs> well, the same way on video says let people they speak Yoruba or Igbo. I even though not the what? wrong one because if you look at anime, they are teaching their philosophy. But on video yeah. they show you say Igbo people they always fight over land that they kill each other, they do blood money. Whereas what? there's even no such thing as blood money. They're just human organ harvesting. What? So it's image and representation, yeah. and it's funny that. Both of you, you know, I didn't plan this. Uh-huh. I didn't plan it, but now looking at him as a babala, babala, wo gong, gong. Ele yila ti university, ele mama sketch, I won't call la wo ti o monk by. Exactly. Yeah, and then that's why I'm talking about spirituality, cultural tradition. Yeah. Uh, they're kind of like, they coexist. Mm. You can't separate culture, tradition from spirituality. Mm. And when we're talking about image representation, you know, it has really, really limits our scope and our horizon, you understand, as people. Mm-hmm. Because everything has been given a definition, which I try as much as possible not to define certain things. There are certain esoteric um, phenomena that are beyond definition. You get you can only I mean, it's give it, yeah you can only give it your own definition. Others yes. will give it theirs. Their own definition. So it's subjective. So we're talking mm-hmm. about spirituality, mm-hmm. spiritual knowledge, mm-hmm. and then spiritual growth. Mm-hmm. You get, but mm-hmm. without adequate spiritual knowledge, there is no growth. So how can someone like a Dakwa, for example? Gain spiritual in order to grow spiritually, which okay. the, which is honest, not okay. according to Super mm. No, yeah, that is what that was, that was what because under spiritual knowledge, there's then there's another thought, there's, it's, it's, it's also very, very wide in within of itself. You get yes. so we are not talking about African spirituality now, we're coming back home. You get because only Ili, Latin, Kesho, Rudi. Yes. Now from you you before we come you can, we'll, we'll try, mm. We like to generalize things a lot. Mm-hmm. For me, I believe, in order to buttress what you said earlier, I believe, okay, I'm more, I'm human before I'm whatever, yes, whatever I was tied to. But we're only deceiving ourselves. I'm a Yoruba first. You understand? Yes. I'm a Yoruba first because I can only understand the worldview from starting from my own. Your upbringing, at least your yeah, ecosystem. Yeah. So if we're talking about African spirituality, then mm-hmm. we're bringing back home a little bit. Then I'll have to talk about Yoruba spirituality. Mm-hmm. You understand? Because yeah. you have to know which area are you focusing on. Mm-hmm. If you really want to tell that story, you can't be telling the story of Igbo where you have not. I've never been to an Igbo land before. But I know that. You haven't. No. Oh, I, but, 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 but I know that. <laughs> but I know that they have their own spirituality as well. No, no, no. Okay, Ebola. No, okay. Because Ebola, you know, okay. So now, image representation of 
African spirituality generally, yes. in the majority of the movies that we watch now, mm-hmm. you get mm-hmm. when they want to show a spiritual, a, a traditional African spiritual, spiritual thing, yeah, yeah, a custodian, yes. a, a, yeah. A, a custodian of an African spirituality. Yeah. Oh, yeah. the first thing you see, you see two skulls, two skulls. <laughs> Yeah. One skull and two bones. You see, you see one carries, skull and two bones. Two bones. You understand? <laughs> that is that is that is pure lack of spiritual knowledge. Yes. Because yeah. if you have the spiritual knowledge, you will understand that what has the symbol of pirates or, or, or bandits got to do with African spirituality? Can, can I? Can, you see this? You see this? You see this? You, you, know there? Yeah. you see this? You there? There's something that I want to confirm with you. <laughs> Excuse me. With even, you now. even with the sketch of sorry. Go ahead. Even with the sketch of. The, the guy that brings out um, the Benin warriors or whatever that fights for him in that uh, Yasuke mm-hmm. uh, cartoon. Mm-hmm. The guy on his on his wrist, you have small skulls and skulls. <laughs> now, now you <laughs> see, one day... <laughs> That's how they say. One day I did watch... I just, you know, I was just scrolling through TV and I saw one place where, you know, witches are gathered typically and there's skull and two eggs. <laughs> I call, for some funny reason, my mind just said, there's something familiar, something extra familiar about this skull and bones. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I couldn't ask myself, see, what did this thing really, really be? Like, why do I feel like there's a familiarness to it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because right from while we are young, this is what yes. we've been seeing yeah. in home videos. But there's, a, there's a different familiarity we that... We've been miseducated. Yes. That mis- this miseducation, and my mind was like, my mind itself was on doing or on learning the miseducation. Exactly. I didn't know until later. I found this, I, I find this out same later here, about myself. Same here I'm, so I'm asking myself, say, hmm, this skull and bones, there's something extra familiar about it. Not that I was, I, I've been watching this as a kid. I was like, wait, 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 wait. Ah, now this is the sign of danger now. Now, guess what the argument advances in my head? I'm like, okay, so if that is the sign of danger, and if it is true that white people introduced us all to cameras <laughs> and <laughs> that sign is on cameras, <laughs> it must only mean that we've been misrepresented exactly. in our spirituality. Exactly. And this drags me back to a conversation that I had recently. I was talking to Rotex mm-hmm. and he says his grandma, say she born 11 children and only two remain. What? The one eleven children only two remain. I don't know how. I don't know how the eleven kids came to be, but sad the story is there are eleven kids and our two remain. And that at a point, they always said to her that ah, this one go become witch to save in Peking new. Say Ogbaje more. Now, when he said that, it made me think deep differently. Like you know what? If that's the case, then most mothers, as I know, it are willing to Ogbaje. To save their kids, eh? Your mama will do anything to save you. Okay. If not to join group, legit. <laughs> if one, if not to go join group for you to leave, however, <laughs> your mama will pay dues. However, that's also lack of spiritual knowledge. Yes, because, because if we understand spirituality to that extent. You don't even need to join any cults, any spiritual, any uh, uh, yes. occultic. Whatever, in order to protect, to protect, your, protect child. your child, because every child have their own destiny. Now, I mean, before we go there, why I'm saying this is because whatever was going on in that woman's life, yeah. mm-hmm. that all her children were dying, whatever she did without hurting somebody else, mm-hmm. without ruining anybody else's life, whatever she did to stop the last two mm-hmm. from dying, is it really a bad thing? So you see what, what mm. in my head I'm like, see misrepresentation for the for your head. And I say, which whereas there's no such. Th- to be honest with you, yeah. which and wizard now bad mind and bad spirit and bad intention against you. That's it. So including say whether you do social media and person they talk bad about you now, which be that. 
But we, but the, the word I want to ask you. I want to, it, it's the same thing. I'll, I'll give another example. Mm-hmm. The word witch and wizard that we always say. What which, these witches and wizards when uh, we have a god school of wiz, witch witchcraft and wizardry and you know even including us we're going to the cinemas giving our monies to buy tickets to go and watch witches you know perform spells and which so validates what, what is, I was saying to you that so it must only mean that get? the skull and two bones was a was a plan or was a suggestion from somebody who already had the logo as that of danger okay. like the originating mm-hmm. I, um, foundation of such a concept would have been from somebody who used it to scare people away be a danger here africa okay. didn't do too much with electricity like that to have a danger sign you get? right even though I, i'm sure if we check again in history maybe an african was out there fucking around and it found electricity <laughs> <laughs> like before people came to claim it yeah. right but from what i know not to claim anything further me watching witches gather and there's skull and bones and I travel back in my head that what is what could be the origin of this skull and bones as a logo? Now, we get it that they've used it as a symbol and an mm. image to represent witches in Africa mm. or evil in Africa. Not just mm-hmm. witches in Africa, but African spirituality as a whole. African spirituality, uh, yes. Because if that is what yeah. you use to represent the custodian of African spirituality, every home of any custodian of African spirituality, that is what you see at the entrance of their house, mm. of yeah. their home. So, so you have actually demolized the entire spiritual essence of Africans. And Bam. it's an agenda. It's an agenda that cut across so many different levels. But due to limited time, we won't be able to yeah. really so, so get justice to Can that I today. just give one more example? Okay, so they said, um, I have an issue with Bishop Ajay Crowder. They said that he translates um, English Bible, Bible to Yoruba. <laughs> Why the hell did he take issue? Eh? Issue, which, which, which is low-key. There is no difference between Ishu and um, and Anubis, the god of that sees. Because in in African um, spirituality, we believe that there is someone who will take you from, who will take your soul from the living to the dead, who will accompany you. Do you get? Mm-hmm. So Ishu was that maybe guy. Maybe not someone. <laughs> Something. Yes. So Ishu was the, was that guy. It wasn't Ishu wasn't necessarily a an evil god, just like Loki. It was just a trickster god. Do you get so um my uncle carry the one just one aspect of one character um character trait of that deity which is tricking do you get and now put it and now put it as the devil in the bible okay but, but do you get one. what i'm saying a very quick one that happened it started in 18th century to be precise 1842 when the first uh missionary came to africa harry townsend you understand? It's just an agenda, like I said. Do you think his name is Townsend? Yes, Henry <laughs> Townsend. Yeah. And, and, <laughs> yeah, the foundation of that started in Abel Kuta. When they were going from house to house on evangelical mission and all that, you get. Yeah. And uh, they got to a point where they were talking to people, you know, all this house, outdoor preaching and all that. Like, mm-hmm. you know, drop your idol worshipping, don't believe in idols, they have eyes they can't see, they have ears they can't hear, they have mm-hmm. mouth they can't speak and all that. And then the little girl just stood up and said, no, there's a particular deity in my own father's house that speaks, that hears, that sees, and that have sense of feelings and touch. Mm-hmm. And they're like, really? And then uh, the uh, missionaries said, okay, take us to that house. And they got there, and getting there, it was a sign. And as they were stepping in, the Osani was already get, greeting them. A cabo, bow new. But mm. he, she, he, the, the, the Osani was already mentioning the, the little girl's name. Mm. And they were mm. like, oh, really? So, they know, so on getting to the house, mm-hmm. after hearing all that, mm-hmm. so they saw that they might have several other icons and deities mm, and all that deities. represented in that home. And they're like, mm-hmm. what is this? This is Ifa. And beside Ifa, mm-hmm. there's something very small there. What is this? Yeah. This is Ishu Ifa. Ishu. Then they saw mm-hmm. Ogun. What is this? This is Ogun. Behind, beside it, there's something mm-hmm. little. What is mm-hmm. that? Issue Ogun. Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. What is that? This is Albatala. Beside it, there's an issue. The, so they notice that every one of them have a issue. representation of issue. So yes. therefore, if we have to destroy Try. these people's culture, their spirituality, exactly. we, we have, have to start to. with this issue because exactly. it has a representation in every of their. Bro. Yes. Know, but and that, that representation means. And that was mischief. when they started. Yeah. And that was yeah. how they started. Listen, Miss Africa in African spirituality, 
There is mm. nothing like evil God. We have energy. Yes. God is the creator yes. of both bad and good. Listen, exactly. if this life light Bro, trips off you know? now, we will understand the value of this light as well. opposed to when we just have it on for two, mm. three, four, five years without having it trip off. Yes. You understand? If we start yeah. to feel heat now, that is when we'll understand the value and the essence of being cold. cold. Yeah. Without Christ, you will understand the value of laughter. Yes. You understand? So yes. it is a principle of duality. The yin and the yang. Mm. You get? You have to die before you can value life. Mm. Death is nothing bad to human, to human being. Mm. You understand? You are going because this thing, this you it's are made your, 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 yeah, it's made of you are made of carbon. And at a point you, you begin to wear, you begin to wrinkle, mm-hmm. you even pray for death. So how is death something bad? But if you know that you don't want you don't want to fault in the cast and in the statistics of those that die young, there are certain spiritual processes that you have to do, ritual. Prayer is a spiritual ritual. Mm. Eating yeah. well is a spiritual ritual. So we have to understand that spiritual you know, knowledge you know, is very, very important. So on uh, uh, Reverend man, Ajayi Crowder's... This man is dropping some joints. That Reverend, Reverend, just yeah, because, Reverend, Reverend Ajayi Crowder yeah. had only come to play his own part of the agenda. The agenda. You understand? Yeah. Mm-hmm. To limit us, to dogmatize us, and to make us remain, just keep us moving in circle. It's, it's as simple as that. You understand? Mm. Because when he was going to translate the English version of the Bible to Yoruba, mm-hmm. you get, there is Paul. He named it, 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 it was, Paul was transliterated to Paul. Mm. Mm-hmm. Job was transliterated to jo- po- Job. 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 Job, is, Job is not a Yoruba word. You are still repeating the same thing. Yeah. Ju- you just intonize it. Yes. It's just intonized. Yeah. You get, Mary was Maria. It's oh, still yeah. Mary. You yeah. only intonize it. Mm. Just like you have Akim, Akibu, or Ak- Akib, mm. Akibu in Yoruba. Mm. You get. So now, a sh- a Satan was mm. already intonized into Satani. Mm. You understand? So but it is a deliberate from? act to make it, you know, to bring mm. that Yoruba spiritual essence and mm. phenomenon into it in mm. order to do what? To do justice to that agenda. And that is what we're having today. I have a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a campaign against that anyways that is already ongoing since 2015. Issue is not Satan. Satan. You understand? Mm. And we've had a whole lot of people sign on to it. Even Prof. Olesho mm. had to make a video about Issue is not Satan. Mm. We've been having a started. conversation about Issue is not Satan because me, I just begin to think I'm saying, but on the MRJK Shushele, when you say MRJK Shushele, they say it's when we are fighting. Mm. Or when you are about to fight, say, uh, now death will not happen be this. So, yeah, let- so the on uh, the original understanding from the Yoruba perspective of issue uh-huh. is not hellfire or demon waiting for you, it is innately in man. That's why you have if I then issue if I. it yeah. is innately in man that everything you do that is perfection because you are not God. There will be an imperfect side to it, and that side has been ascribed to issues. So there's also an appease to that. And oh. anyways, you, so I'm, I'm sorry, please, but this thing does it. This, this scratch me. I won't mention that okay. because he's one of my best writers uh, when it comes to like pop in pop culture generally. Yeah. Neil 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 Grayman. What's his name? Is he? I don't want to butcher his name. Neil, the guy who wrote um, Sandman. The guy who did um, American Gods, please. I've seen American Gods. If you have not Gods, seen I, 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 American Gods as an African, please go and watch American Gods. Yeah. It's going to open your mind. Right. Do you get? Do you know what messed? Do you know what messed me up? As in, I when they entered when when um, uh, um, Odin, Odin was talking to Esteros. Mm-hmm. Esteros, we we uh, we celebrate Easter. Not knowing that it's actually gotten from the god of the equinox, yeah, the yeah. spring. Do you get? And she was not angry. Then Udin was like, Why are you angry? It was like, This guy took my shine. Guess who entered the room? Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ did not enter the room as only white Jesus. Spanish Jesus was there, black, black Jesus, Jesus was there, Italian Jesus was there. This, my heart was blown away because. And now everybody has a representation of Jesus in his head. Okay, so Catch Cruz, what he's been saying that I learned is, you see Loki, uh, you see Loki, mm-hmm. like you've known Loki as a trickster god, mm-hmm. and uh, so you can equate such a concept in parts to issue. 
You see, one thing I just want everybody to take home today is that anytime you want to ascribe anything bad or you want to, you know, credit anything bad to a shoe, the first thing you look at is this. Anytime you walk, everybody, we have what we do, right? We go to work and uh, at the end of the month we get paid, you know. And uh, once you receive your paycheck or you get the alerts, credit alert. Why has it not ever for once happened to any one of us that we just take that money and give call uh, vector or call any of your friends or long time friends and say, okay, you just transfer the money to that person. And at the end of the day, later, you just come back to your consciousness. Oh, wow, it should be shaming for the same Why has that- it should never done that to you? Why is it that it is when you want to do anything bad to somebody else that, that it is always an issue? But it is not an issue until you are caught. Oh, if you are never caught, it is not issue. But it is when you are caught, that is when it becomes the work of issue. But when you are enjoying it and are having fun, it is not the work of issue. You want to go and sleep with somebody's wife, you are enjoying the process. Once you, if you get through with it, got you. you are good. But the when moment you get caught, you, then uh, people, will, people will not even begin to be, the, the people will be the one to, you know, uh, it's not his fault, it's issue, it's the work of issue. So, mm-hmm. so in that people, case, people issue is more taking... of an excuse. Yeah, yeah it's an, an excuse. Existence. Yeah. An existence. And it must be how whoever... Who I, st- I stopped trying to say they, 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 because I want to believe that the level of understanding and knowledge that we should have as a people mm-hmm. about ourselves. Mm-hmm. I like what is happening here because it then unifies everything. Yeah. It unifies everything about image. I subscribe to the image of selflessness. Because mm. I believe that eh, I'm a Yoruba man. It's important to know, but then again, but that's the a Yoruba man. <laughs> mm. um, there are a lot of Yoruba men. Mm. Like, you get what I mean? Yes. Like, I'm a Yoruba man. Mm-hmm. That's important to know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. However, there are a lot of Yoruba mm-hmm. men that seem to be shaping for the fact that I'm a Yoruba man if we judge by how both of us are represented. Yes. Right? But in there is where the Yoruba, say, philosophical understanding of mishaps equates to issue. Issue Mm -hmm. that I realized for myself at a point was, or is, the moment you lose control of your sanity, Mm. but it's still also still your responsibility. Mm issue in everybody's everybody's responsibility like it is the ah I didn't know you should offer eh she mm-hmm. she she you did it yeah no so where is the issue that fad inside of you so there's no issue that you're going to that's going to kill you yeah. you use your own hand to do yourself which is the reason why you must then understand our own re- traditional religious practices and how to curb it the same way Christianity is telling you how to be good in the society. Mm-hmm. It's simply because you doing bad is issue happening, period. You doing bad. This is you said, you put to me, I, give, I went to, I just got back into Nigeria and I bought two sneakers. Identical. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like the same sneakers. Mm-hmm. Size 12, size 13. Mm-hmm. Because I, sometimes my shoe size is 13. Mm-hmm. I can manage. Mm. So I give the guy size 12. This guy wear the size 12. You rock the size 12 till it be like size 10. Oh <laughs> <laughs> when one day I over walked into the room, I was like, yo, mm. Beck, you have so many sneakers. I was like, yeah, you can have this one. Mm-hmm. I, I probably just worn it once. And he says, ah, so which of you say you worn it once? You don't wear this in where now. I'm like, huh? As I raise the sneakers, <laughs> I say thick mud, we don't dry. <laughs> First of all, I'm like, huh? Even if my guy wear this shoe, the little girl don't always wash it. <laughs> yeah. When you come call and say, guy, what happened to this? I gave, I had two identical, I, I had an identical mm-hmm. pair of sneakers. Mm-hmm. This, this, I gave you one. Mm-hmm. What happened to that a devil? What? Issue. Why? How? <laughs> but don't you understand? He thinks he's making an excuse, but for a man of wisdom, you know that issue is inside of you. So at the end of the day, it's still you acting. Yes. And that's what we need to get to. I feel with image and representation, you have to represent it as this is me acting. Like it has to become accept the devil that is in you. Accept the issue. Maybe that way you're not be running away from the demons that are still evident. If you want to try, let's look at pastors that have been fucking recently. But then the demon <laughs> and it also in that case, sorry, the demon is not a bad thing. 
it's just you denying you are trying to form for your humanity like so as you they act the humanity <laughs> you gotta try explain what you're not supposed to explain but i get why prick they stand for woman he gets why biology it's biology my g so if you know say you never reach the stage where you know go you feel control your prick accept with yourself and don't assume a yeah. position yeah. of false imagery and yeah. false representation do you still believe in the ideology of demonizing things or there's one energy and called uh, demon another somewhere thing is, another we are still thing not is, we are still far from the truth we are still far from the final destination which is growth that which we all yeah are because you have to grow yes. beyond to grow that beyond like you don't you know demons oh yeah show me demon explain demon define demon but, but you know first that there are energies you see, once, yes once you once yeah. you, you know, say Popsy, my Popsy, anybody who knows me, like, personally, silly, knows that my Popsy is a pastor. Do you get okay. I've watched people look at my Popsy as... Baba Obama, he's not supposed to sing. My Popsy is not supposed to make any mistake in his life. I mean, he burst the... Supp- <laughs> <laughs> pastor, mistake? I'm sorry, How? I just had to chip that in, like... <laughs> It must have been a mistake birthing you <laughs> as a pastor because you're a free mind. Dude, that was before, bro. That was pre. Uh, I mean, I like I said, and I'll be very honest with this conversation, I like the fact that I didn't think that there was a correlation between a babalao and a visual artist. However, if I think about it now, with a lele now, in Unilag, he would just come by himself and go and sketch a um, shrine. And come and be showing us, say... But then, but wait, hold on. But he then puts superheroes. So now, but, but you have not mentioned it. The, what is the Babalao wearing? No, you are doing it. I said you do shrine. Tell me the Babalao yes. fashion. What, what was the Babalao wearing? Bro, you, you, you know. put beads. You put everything. So, but what was the Babalao? What was the Babalao now wearing? It's Kembe now. It's Agbada Ashid now. What's he wearing on his on his leg? Have you forgotten? I can't remember all your details of your no, heart, my G. He will be wearing Nike. You suppose no? No vest now. I was going to go. To, see, I advanced that from Unilag to now. He did an Alaga Ibile of Reminis. I know. Say if I send Remi that thing, he go like him. So you you. You get what I'm saying? Like, this yeah. man knows about Sasuke and knows about all these samurais and animes of the mm-hmm. world. But then he also knows that in applying that to our original reality, if Reminis is Alaga Ibile and Ibile is by traditional ways, yeah. it's only appropriate that the next image of Reminis you paint or you illustrate would mm-hmm. be Reminis in the true visual representation of Ibile. I, I didn't think... I was talking to Udwak in Unilag. Okay. And I was saying to Udwak that I feel like we should have like a like a comic series. Uh-huh. This was when we were in 300 level. No, it was 200 level ending because I remember like at 300 level I was writing a philosophical theory. I was writing on the wall of my room. <laughs> I was I was typical in both films, mathematician or professor, science guy, geek, right? Uh-huh. But I was writing my philosophy of um, universality uh. and um, I was talking to Udwak and I was saying to Udwak that man imagine if we had like a series that was so fucking dope that is global level yes. but the name of the bad guy is Gidacha uh-huh. and maybe the swordsman is Musa from the north uh. ironically years after Musa now becomes a big name in Super Eagles but Musa from the north is a swordsman and uh-huh. Gidacha is a mix from I'll give you time. You're a rapper. Gidacha. 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 That's Babangida and Abacha. Ah, ah. (laughs) This guy. (laughs) Yes, now, like, it had to be. I wanted to do that so much. Whereby, I'm not judging Abacha or Babangida, none of that, but, like, so far, so good. (laughs) The information we have. But it's about Musa. Gida, ooh, Gidacha. Okay. I know you are good to do. I know you are good to sketch him tonight. <laughs> and I really wish that I could show the world 
these things. Like how yeah. I'm sitting I here. I'm to, <laughs> you don't need to think about to crawl. How do we go to design Bro, I, I, you know, I quit. Yes, now I quit recently. Yeah. I was like, I'm not doing this anymore. By the way, congratulations on quitting. <laughs> it's not because I think that your life gets any easier. <laughs> it's just because I'm tired. me, for example, tired. I've never had a nine to five in my entire life. It's crazy. From the moment I was in church choir, I was singing. Primary school, I was singing. Secondary school, I was singing. University, I was singing. Bruh, they hired me for live band. I play live band. Every other week, then, I was making 20K. I was buying Adidas sneakers and shit. Like, I was just there. My life was giving meaning to myself. My image was being represented appropriately, even though I didn't plan it. So, in my head, it's always been our reality was dope. Our reality was strong enough. It's enough. Our reality ordinarily is enough. Like, between you and him, I expect a level of friendship that is going to influence a lot of background story. You know how, how we're watching Kenshi Himura and the Tokigawa yes. era? Yeah. yeah. Like, let this man Nanda, be able to yeah. tell you that, for example, Ori Ori Yo or La Jumokenlo is, a, is actually an Ifa song about a very, very funny lesson that Yoruba people have learned from singing that song. song. Yeah. And people don't even know. Bra- don't even know the, the lesson in that song is about not judging a book by its cover. Mm. So we must then marry image and representation appropriately so that when you are out there talking to DC Comics, if you're talking about Shongo, you better know that Oya is his guy. His of course. Babe. Of course. Like, so if you're representing anything, which then in turn, my daughter watches and sees Oya that is a Nigerian woman that is black, that mm. is hot. By the way, a lot of Nigerian women are hot, by the of way. Of course. Yeah. No. Word. No, word. this one is not word. <laughs> I, I don't need your cosign. <laughs> I know that a lot of Nigerian women are bra. So can we start to have those because the essence of our spirituality is invalidating our existence, yes? yes? Yeah. Mm. yeah. It's invalidating our existence. And I, I appreciate you guys. Like again, let me make this clear to the audience. It was not pre-intended to have a visual artist that is well seasoned. And when you're so young here, then a babalao that is well like he doesn't understand. I deal I deal with him on a level of reality that is I'm interested in knowing because this man now, I'm sure when he wake up as a smart as a pekin, that they tell him about Okay, so in that total understanding, what is the image and representation of that? Is it just in the act or it's in who he is? Has that act written into his consciousness enough to influence and affect how he deals with society at large. Mm. And his father is a big man in the conversation. He's probably, I say probably because I've not done data analysis, but his father is probably the most famous Ifa priest in Mm. the world. One of the, one Mm. of the. Okay, so one of the most famous Ifa priests in the world. I'm talking movements of power, from Cuba to Brazil to Nigeria to way more other countries. And that must be the essence of what it means to be powerful and African because I never seen Papa contest for office rich. Oh. Even though if you contest for office, don't worry yourself. <laughs> if nobody following. Oh. So you see where all this is leading to the humility again of being an African, but then again, you must represent and show the real image. Uh-huh. Let's not go into government and how things are messed up or how we want things to be better. However, mm. it's in understanding who we truly are. And before, for example, um, what's that thing again? Missionaries. There was mm. something happening in Africa before they came. Mm-hmm. And if everything is God's doing and God is infinitely good, how dare that be a bad thing that is happening? You know, I don't get it. I'm so all the people who died before... The good news came. Where are they going? Where are the people that died before the good news came go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where are they going? So Where back to the topic. Speaking of image and representation, you, get, you know. Yes. People, oh, by the way, I would people, like to you guys please get to your mind. So okay. let's let me take a last um I mean we've had this conversation yeah. over time yeah. about how we feel our originality is important. Yeah. But not originality based on culture and tradition, but spirituality or 
cultural tradition's understanding of what it means to be spiritual. Uh-huh. And it is the most provable one. Uh-huh. Right. I'd like to take your last words on image and um, representation. Um, man, you, especially Nigerians, you guys need... You know how you go take your car to this uh, mechanic and you remove all the plugs and remove the oil that is dead as mm-hmm. dead do you get yeah, yeah like we need as a country do you get we need an you a tot an is it an overhaul I mean a overhaul in fact an overall overhaul <laughs> an overhaul of what a lot of things you believe. If you think Shongo is diabolic and Thor is cool, you are sleeping on a bicycle. Because like the same oh, shit spell. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no <laughs> cream. <laughs> 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 Shubuli, <laughs> my Shongo and the Thor. <laughs> same. Shongo versus Thor. Who do you think The Thor versus Shongo. Like, I don't know. I keep <laughs> saying Shongo as Sagat and Thor as just another guy. You know? <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Because yes. they would pray, they would put their own gods and their own religious packages very well with Hollywood and Tony Stark and everything be looking fine. Meanwhile, you think your own is evil and diabolic. Which is the same concept. Come on, man. Same yeah, concept. so for me, I think uh, it is one thing to learn, which is very good. Mm-hmm. And it's another thing to, you know, acknowledge the fact that in our process, in our growth process in life, we get to a point whereby we have to unlearn and relearn. Mm. Let's start unlearning and relearning and to relearn majority of the things that we, fe- that we now understand that are not the way they are supposed to be, you get? And then another thing is people have a right to their own opinion of you and that their op- opinion of you will determine how they will represent you. And you also have a right not to challenge them Mm. directly you understand mm. but psychologically and indirectly mm. challenge them by how you choose to represent yourself. yourself so mm. I've decided to represent myself not by what people are expecting to see Babalawo in Agbada and all this necklace no, but Agbada not in French yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah it's culture and tradition mm-hmm. you understand what I'm saying mm. but I can still be, because you might be sharing a cup of drink with a Babalawo and you don't even know Exactly. You understand? Even though you probably would not, knowing that this Especially person is a Babalawo. Especially if you can't tell what color of beat means what. Exactly. <laughs> you understand? So that's what I'm saying because, yeah. you know, being a Babalawo is a custodian of knowledge, a custodian of esoteric knowledge and understanding of As passed down from generation yes, to generation. generation yes. yeah. So it's not just about being diabolical. Okay. Yeah. So that's it. Thank you. Can we do like a search engine named Ifa? A search name in engine named Ifa. Both of you can do it. Of course, sure. We can work on yeah. that. Um, in, ra- in rounding this up, um, I mean, I'm, I'm grateful to whatever energy exists as autonomous over us all, whether in Ifa understanding, whether in Islamic understanding, or whether in Christianic understanding. Um, in any other understanding, I'm grateful to the spirit that assembles everything and makes sense of everything. Mm-hmm. I feel like the image and representation of us all as individuals or men or man or whatever it is that you think is just in understanding clearly what the practices around us are. And maybe then we can we can fish out things. Like, for example, politically, this conversation we're having, you think it doesn't really affect any other thing else. But politically, if the practice is constantly a certain way, there is a high probability that the way it has always been is the way it will continuously be. Right? So you have to break away and ask certain questions. Like, ask yourself clearly, like, I don't understand. In the traditional, in the traditional religious understanding of things, are we worse than the denominational religious understanding of things? Mm. Of modern, or modern religious, modern understanding. religious understanding. understanding. Like, I ask myself questions: What exactly? What did, what does it mean to be African? Is it because you are black? Because I'm sure there are black people that are not from Africa. Wow. Well, <laughs> as of today, right. right. So, what then does it mean to be African? What does what does it? What is the image, or what is the right representation 
of that. Like, I do not subscribe to people doing evil to people, but I understand clearly that in African understanding, a person doing evil towards somebody, whether in thoughts, whether in spirits, whether in acts, mm -hmm. is a witch. Not necessarily because there's one special power that they have against or over everybody else. Mm -hmm. And if you're representing your image appropriately, you will understand clearly that this is your own traditional understanding mm. of what the world is. Mm. And it may just be the right one to lead everybody to a more unified existence. Because the last thing I'll say to you here is, what exactly have you learned in the Quran or the Bible that you don't have adages for in traditional African understanding? Mm. What exactly have you learned in any religious book that mm. there are not understandings for in Owe mm. or Asha? Mm. Until then. Deep. Bless up. I am Collide Prime at Collide Prime. C O double L Y D E. Then Prime as in Optimus Prime on Instagram. Just even Google Collide Prime. Just Google Collide Prime. You'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, my name's R. Aloran Nimbeadeo Popola. At on Instagram at Popo Speaks. The same on uh, Twitter and Facebook. Popola Thanks.